Hey my angels, it's Angie. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see in the thumbnail, we have two huge Timu bags to open. You always know it's gonna be a good time when you see a Timu package that has to be taped back together. So <laughs> I've got two big ones to haul for you guys. First of all, I'd just like to say if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. It's nice to see you. Say hello in the comments below. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Happy 2024 February has finally begun and I, I don't even know if I would consider January part of 2024. I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Let me know if you felt that way, but didn't feel like the new year, like I had transitioned into the new year just yet. But now February feels fresh and fun and I'm ready to get back into some content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our next Timu haul. So you guys, I have some clothing items. I'm gonna be starting out with the clothing stuff and I'm gonna try to do some screenshots to show you what it looks like on me. I am a plus size gal. I usually wear like a 2x in clothing from Torrid if you've ever shopped there or from Lane Bryant. Um, even from like Walmart, Target, I'm usually in the 2x plus size range. So the first item that I picked up um, was a pair of jeans. These were $15.99. I went ahead and like priced everything out. Um, but these kept popping up on my suggested feed and I thought they were super cute. Hopefully I'll be able to um, try these on for you guys, but they are elastic waist and then they have a nice cute little drawstring here. And then they're just a nice um, skinny jean, but then they have some details in the front where it's distressed detailing. So I thought these would be really cute with like longer cardigans, um, a sweater and stuff like that. And they're pretty lightweight too. So I'm, I'm confident that I'll be able to wear these from like February transitioning on into like late spring. The next clothing item that I picked up is a super cute Sherpa um, pullover. This ran 13.04. You can see the price tag there. Well, it's not really a price tag. I just kind of wrote everything on the barcode tags. But this caught my eye. It's so cozy, you guys. The color combo is really cute. Just pulling some fuzz off. Anyway, here she is. She's just got like a little quarter zip here. And this is so soft and cuddly. I just love it for perfect cozy days. Love the color combo. Nice long sleeves, and I can't wait to uh, wear this just on some cozy days, you know, sitting around with the doggos, having a cup of coffee, reading. Very cozy and cute. The dogs are going crazy. This is another clothing item I kept seeing in my suggested feed. It was $16.99. This is a sweater dress. So let's open her up and see what she looks like. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, this is super cute. Some weird tissue in it, but let's see. Okay, for some reason I thought it was a mock neck, but I guess not. Um, just a nice uh, scoop neck there, and then just a cute little rib knit. It's got like rib knit detailing, and yeah, so it's nice and long to wear with some leggings or those skinny jeans. Can't wait to see what these look like with those skinny jeans. I think this will look so cute. But um, this is kind of like a tunic length. I wouldn't consider this a sweater dress length. Not for a plus size woman, maybe for a petite woman. This would work as a sweater dress. Can't wait to see like what this looks like. Skinny jeans and some tall boots. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this next item, you guys, I... I was so excited to see it that I like actually opened it when I like priced it out. This was $14.94 and um, sadly this adorable print, I, lo I love you a latte. So sadly it was printed on the back of the sweatshirt. <laughs> it was supposed to be on the front. Um, so the front actually is just plain. So this was a manufacturer error um, and then the back 
has this I love you a latte adorable print with the two lattes holding hands and hugging. So I contacted Timu and I requested a refund. I sent them a picture saying it was printed on the back and they kindly refunded me. So that was nice of them. So now I have a Timu credit to do a little more shopping with, but um, I'll still wear this. I think it's absolutely adorable. I'm sad that the print is on the back, but it's just funny. Like whoever's standing behind me will see that. <laughs> I did get two more sweatshirts. This one ran me $12.48. I, okay, I love American Sign Language. It is the foreign language that I did for my first degree in college. And I absolutely fell in love with the language. It's so beautiful and poetic and I just, I love it. And I really connected with the deaf community during that time. Whenever I can, I try to use sign language with deaf pa patients at work and it's just really great. So. I saw this sweatshirt and I just absolutely loved it. It says be kind in sign like in American sign language. So and then um the words say in a world where you can be anything and then they spell out be kind with their hands. So I just loved this sweatshirt. I can't wait to wear this out. I think it's super cute. Um, I love the colors on it. This next sweatshirt ran me 809. It is so cute. It's, all three of these sweatshirts are the same um, clothing weight. They're just really lightweight, thin sweatshirts. They're not super thick. They don't have fleece on the inside. Um, this is a pink one and then it has books with flowers and I just thought that it was super pretty. And um, I got this for, you know, spring or a cool summer night. Um, but I love this. I just think it's so cute. And once again, I got a three. So all three of these sweatshirts are a three XL. I am normally a two XL gal in other clothing brands. And these are kind of baggy on me. So if you can use that as a clothing reference and hopefully I have been showing you <laughs> shots of these. If I had time, I filmed shots of these um, so that you can see what they look like. The last clothing item I got was a shirt. This shirt was $9.98 and I ended up getting a 4XL in this shirt, which is really where the, the 4XL t-shirt is like, like tons smaller than the 3XL sweatshirt. So Gee, you gotta look at your sizing charts on there and measure yourself accordingly um, from the charts on Timu because some of them are a little off. But I think this is so cute. It's just a white t-shirt and then it has the God is greater than the highs and lows symbol on it with a mountain, which I think is really cool. And then on the back, it has that print as well. God is greater than the highs and lows. All right, that is it for clothing items that I bought. Let's go ahead and jump into some other things. I did get a couple fashion items like bags. So I wanna show you guys those. All right, so this is a viral bag. Like it went viral from Timu. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the Marc Jacobs a mini tote bag and I got this thing for let's see seven is that right seven dollars and 18 cents oh my goodness she is so cute so the Marc Jacobs bag says the tote bag Marc Jacobs this one just says tote bag which is fine I mean you know if you know you know but if you don't who cares but this is super cute. It has a crossbody strap that it came with. And then it's got a zipper. So everything can stay secured in here. Let's see what else is inside. So inside it just has a little pocket here to hold like, you know, lipstick, your cell phone, whatever and then it's just open and then this part zips across the top. And then on the outside you have your, your rings for your crossbody strap. So I think this is a really cute little purse. You could dress it up or dress it down depending on your outfit. And this is super cute for, you know, under $8. I can't, can't really beat that price. I don't think it's a bad price at all. Um, the strap is a little bit flimsy, but 
if you always want to if you wanted to carry it by the handles you could but yeah just a cute little bag for around town okay guys this next item is supposed to be a dupe for the Michael Kors tote bags so if you've seen the Michael Kors tote bags for the last millennia then you know what they look like this this bag on Team Ramy 2118. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. I did go with black because I didn't want one of the other colors. I just figured black is classic and I can pair it with any outfit. So it comes packaged nicely. Got some tissue paper here. And they put like a little foam roll here to protect the bag where it bends right there. Oh, this is a nice tote. It doesn't feel as big as the, like the Michael Kors, I don't know, what do they call it? Like the weekend tote or something. But this is a nice bag for like work or school. Oh, okay. It's got pockets and a zipper on the inside, so let's see. Here she, here's what she looks like. Just your classic, you know, classy black tote, thin little straps, but you can adjust the straps right here with the buckles. On the inside, you've got plenty of room here for like your tablet or if you want to take your iPad with you. Um, there is a, a zippered center right here to hold essentials and then you have a zipper right here to hold like smaller things and then you have two pockets here so kind of small but this one's a little bit bigger probably for your phone this one you know pens or whatever you want to hold in there but very cute very nice bag let's try out the uh, zipper it didn't come all bent. The straps are a little bit bent, but that can easily be um, shaped out. Let's see how it fits on my shoulder, because that's always the thing with me, is like the shoulder test, and it fits, so that's kind of nice. Um, other bags, you know, they don't fit because of plus size, so it kind of like bothers me having something that I can't wear on my shoulder but yeah this fits pretty good and then it has a little thing right here for if you want to put like a keychain or some kind of embellishment on there very cute and then and then to go along with that Michael Kors dupe bag I got this um I searched for like bag inserts for organizers this was $3.47 it should fit right down in that bag. It looks like the same shape and everything. Um, and it's just a little, it's like a thick felt. So it snaps together or you can unsnap it. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is very nice. Okay, so you've got two pockets on the this outside. So two pockets on each side, basically the long sides. You've got two pockets here and two pockets here. So you've got two, four, six, eight pockets to work with. And then this just sits down in your bag. Let's see how it fits in this tote. I'm hoping it fits perfectly. Looks like it's going to. I'm just gonna stick it um, towards the back of this tote on the other side of the zipper the zippered partition yeah that fits perfect so there's nothing to secure it to in there but it fits down in there perfectly if you can see that so that's really nice um if you want like extra organization in your bag or if you're like using it for your work or school bag um, definitely nice to have extra pockets and um, if you had little like planning supplies or something that you want to put down in there you could always like snap this part closed and then you could just have it closed like that so your stuff is not 
flying everywhere. Um, and if you want to just take this out easily, it does have little slits right here that you can use as a handle to pull straight out of your bag. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting one of these as an accessory if you get this tote. Um, actually, this will probably work for any large tote out there. So for $3.47 to get organized in your bag, this is a really nice addition to have. All right, I'm gonna start digging in this bag now. Um, I've just got a mishmash of items. I'm just gonna just go over them as I pull them out of the bag in no particular order. <laughs> so the thing that's sitting on top is this cute little case. Now I got kind of tricked by the picture on Timu. I paid $5.48 for this. Let me show you what I thought it was. I thought it was going to be this thing. Sorry about the ring light. So I thought it was going to be one of those portable chargers like this that for your watch, your phone, and your um, AirPods. So I thought it was going to be one of those. And the listing says case only. So I got kind of tricked with that. It's okay. I thought it was an awful really good steal for a charger like that. So I'm still interested in getting a charger for traveling. Um, and then I'll use this little case for it. But um, this is just a nice little hard case. It, it has a, a little ring here if you want to put like a wrist strap on it or something. And then it unzips. And then there's plenty, oh, it has a wrist strap. Cool, comes with a wrist strap. Let's put that on there and see what it looks like. Oh, there you go, got your cute little wrist strap. And then the inside has plenty of room for like your charger, it has a little basket here to hold cords, things like that. So cute little case. Um, I could see people using this for like, you know, organizing your cords or anything. For traveling so that's kind of nice you could you could even use it um, for camera batteries and stuff like that all right this next thing that was sitting on top is a car decal this was a dollar 77 and it is one of the um, decals that has the symbol for God is greater than the highs and lows and then it has um, has the symbol and then it has like the mountains and the sea there we go so there's the mountain and the sea, and I just think it's really cool. Um, I was going to put this on the back of my car. Um, I thought it would be really cute on there. So this winter, I've been having some problems with my joints, and one of my coworkers, he had suggested, like, the copper fit things. Um, and I'm like, oh, they're kind of pricey. Um, I did look at, like, Walmart and the drugstore. They're pretty pricey for copper fit, and I looked on Timu to see if they had any copper fit items, um, and they do. So I ended up getting a wrist guard, and this one was only $2.49. Now, I can't confirm if there is actually copper in this, because it says it's 80% nylon and 20% spandex. I don't know. I don't know if there's copper in here. I don't know if it's just a plain wrist guard. It doesn't, it just feels like flat fabric to me. Is that what the copper fit ones feel like? But here's what it looks like. I got a medium, so, and I have a pretty small wrist. Um, I have a petite wrist. So if you have a very large wrist or a large hand, you might need to go up a size. Um, but yeah, that's what this one looks like. And then I also got a knee brace. The knee brace ran me $3.99. I they had um they had a size chart on there and I ended up going with a 2XL in the knee brace. Nice thing about the knee brace, it says copper. Copper, is it really though? Is it it doesn't feel copper it it doesn't feel like copper at all. It has um like the stuff that's on the inside of strapless bras to keep your bra up. It has like the grippy stuff. So to keep it um, from sliding down. <laughs> and then this is the way it would go on your legs. So your kneecap should be, should fit right there. Um, but yeah, I don't know you guys. I'm gonna try it. We'll see uh, if it actually works. I'm skeptical because I don't know. It doesn't seem like it has copper in it. <laughs> But I've never like touched the copper fit stuff either, so 
I have no idea if it feels the same. And then um, I was having a really bad problem with tennis elbow on my right elbow. So I got the elbow fits as well. And these ran me $4.49 for a two pack. And then this is what they look like. And you would put your elbow um, where the circle is. So I'm not gonna, well, let's try it. Let's just see. So that's what it looks like. Um, it is a good, it does feel like a good compression sleeve if you need to have a compression sleeve. So if anything, I'll just use them as compression sleeves. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how they work out. <laughs> we'll have to see how they work out. I don't know if they'll help with tendonitis or I think my problem was tendonitis. I'm not sure about bursitis, but we'll give them a try. Okay, this next item is super cute. I thought it was going to be bigger than it actually is. These savings challenge binders kept popping up in my suggested feed and I ended up getting the $2,100 savings challenge one. Now this one was $448. Um, I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't get the $5,000 savings challenge one because I believe that's bigger because I saw someone else haul the $5,000 one and it was bigger. This is the $2,100 one. This is my hand and this is the binder. So y'all can see how small this little guy is. Um, let's take it out of the package. It's just the cutest little binder ever. Look at that little guy. I mean, it looks like something you would buy at the dollar store, honestly. It's got your little card right here saying like what you need to save and then it has the little pockets to hold each one of your items. It also came with stickers so you can label each thing. Oh, the stickers are messed up. No. Stickers are a little bent and coming off the paper, but here are the stickers that came with it. And you can just put a sticker on each little envelope inside and each little page you can label it for what you're holding in there. All right, this next item is a sandwich press. And this is to make one of the Uncrustable sandwiches. It is Mickey shaped. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. So here's what it looks like. You just put your sandwich here and then it has the other ridged side and then, oh, watch out doggies. <laughs> And you just press it down and it's supposed to seal the sandwich. This next item is actually a peeler that I, I've seen this exact same one on Amazon for like $15 and I got this for $1.88. So this thing is kind of cool. I hope that it actually works because I love peeling my vegetables, um, my cucumbers. I love peeling carrots, stuff like that. Um, potatoes so this thing is supposed to be a peeler and it's supposed to catch your peels at the same time so I don't know the ones on Amazon had terrible reviews <laughs> but I am just curious to see like how well this thing works it has a little lid that pops off here and then it just holds your peels in there so I don't know it feels pretty cheap I'm kind of worried that it's not going to do a good job, but you don't know until you try. And I just thought it was a really cool concept to help, you know, cut down on the mess while I'm preparing like salads and stuff like that. All right, this next item is raincoats for the dogs. They had the cutest little raincoats on there for small dogs. So I got a extra large white, it was $3.97. So cute oh my goodness it's oh okay interesting little belt there but here's what it looks like and then it just snaps in the front and then it snaps around the belly it does have a couple options um, with the button so that you can make it tighter or looser so that is an extra large and um, I got this one for 
Cody and Cody is a Shorky. So he's a Shih Tzu Yorkie mix. Um, he's running about 16, 17 pounds right now. Um, he is a little porker boy and has a belly. So that one should work perfectly for him. It looks long, but you know, it's a raincoat. So hopefully it'll cover his little butt and then he won't get so wet in the rain. Um, and this is going to be perfect for um, the spring months here in Ohio because we have so much rain. It's ridiculous. Um, this other one I got, Brody, he is a Morky and he's a Maltese Yorkie mix. He is on the small side. So Brody is only about six, seven pounds. Um, and this one was in blue and it ran 347. So, oh my goodness, it's so precious, Brody. So here's what the sky blue one looks like. Very cute, nice big hood to go over his head so he's not getting so wet. These are gonna work so perfect for the spring. I just, I love it. I wish I had gotten them last year so they didn't have to deal with the rain so much. And then of course, while I was looking at the dog raincoats, rain boots came up on the screen and I had to get them rain boots as well. So I got a small blue set for Brody to go with his blue coat. So here's what they look like. These were $2.98. Oh my goodness. They are just like a silicone rubber. And then here, let me take this one apart. So it has little Velcro around the ankle. And then look how tiny this little thing is. It's so dang cute. Focus. So darn cute, but you just put their little foot in there and then you wrap it around their ankle, the Velcro to keep it in place. <laughs> I don't know if they're actually, oh my God, there's grippies on the bottom. It has grips. It has grips. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't know if the dogs are going to wear these or not, but for a couple of dollars, it's worth it because their little feet are so fluffy. They're like sponges and they just soak up the water and then I feel bad and I have to blow dry them and I just, um, I'm trying to make things less torturous for them for the spring. So hopefully that will cut down on the wet feet and the muddy feet. Um, I did get Cody black to go, they didn't have, um, they didn't have white ones. So I got Cody some black ones. His size is a medium and they ran 288. So hopefully they will let me put these on them. If they do, I'll have to get a cute picture of them and their rain boots and their raincoats. I can't, I can't too cute. <laughs> oh, this next thing I got is a little USB, um, USB charger. So it, it plugs in via USB, but then it also has three USB ports. So I got this initially to go in the car, but I may end up using this, um, at my gaming desk because it seems like everything that I buy now is USB. So it has the three little ports there. Oh, it's got four. One's on the end and then three on top. So very nice if you need extra USBs. Um, this will be nice for traveling. Like I said, I initially got this for in the car because when we're going to like Cedar Point or somewhere and we want to charge up like our camera, our phone, then we can both charge at the same time. So that's kind of nice. Okay, I'm really excited about this next purchase. It is an eight piece makeup brush set and it was only $4.56. And if you know, the brand Real Techniques, then you're gonna like think that these are Real Technique brushes. They legit look like Real Technique brushes. I can't even believe the price, you guys. Let me take these out. These 100% are Real Technique brush dupes because, oh my goodness. Now they are softer. Oh my gosh, does this feel like this literally feels like their foundation brush that I use. Hands down, 100% feels like it, looks like it. Now the bottom is plastic, so the Real Technique brushes are all metal. The bottom of this is a plastic down there, so you can see the difference between the metal part and the plastic part. 
but that is the only difference. The brush feels um, lighter. It's not as dense as the foundation brush, but it feels almost as dense, like almost identical, you guys. This is so cool. Um, it came with like the foundation, the angle brush. We've got a blush brush. We have a powder brush. And then we have some eye brushes. So you've got some tapered as well as you've got dome brushes here. So how nice is that? This is such a nice set for, it was less than $5. I can't even believe it. I can't wait to try these out with makeup and see how they blend because if they blend well, this is such a nice gift to give to somebody. They would never know that it was less than $5. All right, we're getting down to the last few things. Um, I did wanna show you guys this adorable gnome badge reel. I'm gonna use this um, starting tomorrow through Valentine's Day. He is so darn cute. Let me take him out of his packaging. This little guy was $2.21. He is, um, he's like acrylic, it feels like. I don't know. He's adorable. That's what he is. So here's what it looks like. Cute little badge reel. Adorable. And then it has a little snap for your, um, for your badge, your ID, and then it is the clip style that you slip over your clothes. I prefer the ones that you, the clamp style that you squeeze, but this is cute to wear for a holiday, and I'm, I can't wait to wear this tomorrow. He's so adorable. All right, this next set is kind of a cool kitchen purchase. So these are wine stoppers and they are silicone wine stoppers. So they were $1.48 for a pack of three. You get blue, red, and yellow. These feel nice, nice quality. So if you are a wine connoisseur, these might be um, your favorite purchase. <laughs> so here's what they look like. They just slip over the top keep your wine nice and fresh. Yeah, these are a cute little purchase. You can just keep rewashing them and reusing them as long as they live. So silicone lasts such a long time. I can see myself getting a, a long time use out of these. This next item is a adorable little necklace. It was $2.48. Um, it is a Mickey Mouse theme. And I'm gonna take it out of the package so you guys can actually see it because the ring light tends to glare. Um, so let's take her out. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. She's falling apart. No, she's not falling apart. It's just, it's a lariat style. Um, so I want you guys to be able to see like what it looks like, hang on. So here is the necklace, just a traditional necklace with a lobster claw but then the front is really cute because it has this lariat style where the mickey mouse slips through the other part of the necklace so this part slips through here and that's how it's made um very cute here's up close i love that that's such a cute design so i love like trying out the beauty gadgets on timu and this thing, I don't even know, it's called the Gold Energy Beauty Bar. So this is supposed to be a vibrating bar that you use with like your serums and stuff. Um, it's kind of gimmicky if you ask me, but at the same time, I'm curious to use it. Um, and then they do sell um, beauty gadgets like this at Sephora and Ulta. So the one at Ulta is by Skin Gym and it is the Beauty Lifter Vibrating T-Bar. So that's what that is. That is $58. It is for relaxing your facial muscles basically. Um, it says that it is for sculpting and contouring. Um, so it is a massage tool. And the one on Timu looks exactly like it. Um, it is called the Beauty Bar 24K. I got it for $2.69, so it needs a battery. So I think you screw the unscrew the bottom and then screw the bottom, and that turns the device on. 
So it's just a vibrating tool. I'll have, have to let you guys know how this works. I know there are so many of you out there that want me to start reviewing products from Timu that I haul, and I will gladly do that. This is a vibrating, I guess it's called a T-bar. So for facial sculpting. All right, last but not least, Next week's is Valentine's Day, and I thought it would be fun to get some cute little undies. So if, you, if you're against showing underwear on screen, I'm so sorry. So <laughs> these are just some cute little plus size thongs. So here is Strawberry, and they are just a little thong style. Um, they came with Strawberry cherries these are so cute and um little hearts perfect for valentine's day for you lovers out there or if you just want to be cute and love yourself that's cool too um but the pack of three was pretty cheap they were only 343 so there you go less than a dollar fifty per pair um, they're nice lightweight undies. They're, they're sewed really nice actually. I mean, I could walk into probably Torrid and find a pair of underwear like this for over $6 for a thong. So can't beat that. All right. That is all I have today for my Timu haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss a video when I upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.